This morning we are joined by one remarkable couple, pro footballer, Hall of Famer, and Super Bowl champion coach Tony Dungy and his better half, Lauren. <laughs> Sorry, okay. they told me to say that. Um, a best-selling author in her own right. They have been married almost 40 years. Currently the parents of 11 children, multiple charitable endeavors to the Dungy Family Foundation. And now, well, now they've teamed up once again. They've got a new book out. It's called Uncommon Influence, saying yes to a purposeful life. And they're here this morning to share some of the wisdom that they have amassed mm. over this 40 years of marriage. So honored to have mm. you both in studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Great you for you. having us. So this is the third time we've written a book together. I know this guy and his wife, they've, they've written a book together before. I don't know if they would do it again, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the process itself, I mean, is it, is it daunting at all to write a book like this with your spouse or was it a labor of love? <laughs> Ah, I, I like that. A labor of love. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. We're still talking. We're still on speaking terms. It's, it's a lot of work, yeah. um, but we enjoy that process. So you guys split up the chapters. So do you guys sit down and say, okay, I'm going to write about this and you'll write about that. I mean, how did you guys go about it? We did. We kind of got the format of what we wanted to say and encourage people to let God lead you and help others and, and that type of thing. Okay, what what's your... Mm -hmm. M.O., what do I want to say? And so I talked about preparation and teamwork and some of the things that a, a coach would write about. And Lauren talked about some other things. Yes, prayer is very important to me. So that was a chapter that I wanted to address and talk mm -hmm. about. But, but faith is something that seems, no matter what, throughout the book and throughout your lives, your faith is something that guides almost everything that you do. It is definitely the driving force in our life. Um, we begin each day in prayer together, talking to the Lord, and that just really jump starts our day. So prayer is very important, and faith is what keeps us together and mm -hmm. keeps, keeps us going, guides our path. And let's talk about you guys as parents. You currently have 11 children. We do. Uh, one we saw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the group, um, you know, yeah. Some are adopted, some you're fostering. You know, when you hit a certain number, how do you decide you're going to keep this going? It, it seems overwhelming, you know, for, for some of us. I have three kids, and it seems like enough. So what, what makes children so important in your lives? We love children. Children are our passion, and we just believe that we can pour into them and just help them, guide them through life. And we had our, our children. We had eight children that we adopted. And then foster children started coming into our lives. We're currently parenting three children and so it's a full household but yeah. we enjoy it and you have to understand I, I was a football coach so I had 53 guys Lauren, <laughs> was, Lauren was a teacher she had 30 students yeah. so uh, having you got plenty of room to yeah. go large groups coach one of the things I've always admired about you in addition to being a trailblazing coach and not just being a trailblazing coach you brought a lot of other guys along the way behind you you've been a mentor to so many and you've always talked openly about your faith in the book you write about getting calls in the middle of the night from from social services and they'll say, Coach, got another kid. Can you, can you take one more in? Mm. H how do you two handle those calls? How do you handle those situations? I think it's a matter of just being prepared for them and knowing they're going to happen. And for us, that's how it's been. When we registered as foster parents, mm -hmm. that's the first thing that happened. Hey, we've got an emergency situation. Uh, can you do this? And, uh, you know, you have to say, yes, we're willing. And uh, those are some of the most fun ones. Mm -hmm. And we made that decision uh, early on that when we were going to foster children we wouldn't say no because we know the children are in crisis and they need a home they need stability they need love so we opened our doors to the kids and we've had over a hundred children wow. come through our wow. door wow. you talk so much about the importance of preparation but uh, is there anything that you're not prepared for and what do you do when those challenges come because it's different when you know you you're prepared for something so you're ready for it but quite often in life things come at you that's when it gets tough you know it does and I was thinking about that I think the biggest thing I'm not prepared for is my kids like Jalen not uh, following through on what we had say hey, clean up your room and you open the door and the room looks worse than it <laughs> when you ask them so how do you handle that and how do you bring them along gently mm -hmm. I'll do you, how do you, you do me know. <laughs> 
<laughs> not no, we're not asking all the for time. a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't always work that way. Yeah. Hey, Coach, we're, we're, so we're uh, you're just down in Akron for the Hall of Fame game. We're starting to gear up for, for this next NFL season. So as you look down the line, who are you looking at oh. to maybe go all the way? I know it's early, but I figure what the heck. It is early, and I guess we were talking about that on the show Thursday night. Uh, Buffalo Bills have a lot of kind of momentum going they've been close they've knocked on the door and you know we'll, we'll see what happens but I like Buffalo in the mm -hmm. AFC the NFC uh, boy there are a lot of good teams we live in Tampa so I, I guess we have to maybe say Buccaneers I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. if you want to go back to Tampa you do <laughs> so you like Josh Allen you think this could be Josh's year I do like Josh Allen I've got a good friend Leslie Frazier who coaches uh, with the Bills he coaches their defense and uh, he keeps me abreast of what's going let's on let's talk about the Washington Commanders before you <laughs> you know Carson Wentz they brought him in I mean do you think that he's got what it takes to perhaps I'm get... a Carson Wentz fan okay. I really am and I think he's going to be energetic and playing against Philadelphia twice, that'll be a little extra incentive. Lauren, do you ever get sick of this? You ever get sick of going uh, out? This is my whole life. That's all I know. <laughs> but I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's true. Goodness. Kurtz, thank you, Lauren. Thank, thank you. So you nice to you meet so you. Nice. Absolutely. And keep doing God's work. Oh, Again, the, the, the book is called Uncommon Influence. It is out now. Lauren and Tony Dungy, a third book together. They're going to keep going. Oh. Uh, and don't forget to catch Tony on Football Night in America. It starts uh, with the NFL kickoff September 8th on NBC and Peacock. I mean, fall is coming. My summer's almost <laughs> over. That's what that means. <laughs> We're not thinking about me or anything. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.